Hello, I'm going to show you how to create a differentiated Google form. So I made a module for lesson 13 for Eureka Math. So students would put in their name, then they would put in their teacher, then they would hit next. Based on how they answer these two questions, we'll determine if they get the lower ended questions or the higher ended questions. So for this question one, let's say I get it correct. It would tell me right away if I am incorrect. So students get that immediate feedback. So first it says, try to find your error. Second, go to your teacher for more help. So let's say I got it correct. On this question, let's say I got it um, correct too. So if I got both of them correct, I would choose, I solved both questions on the first try. Next, then it will take these students to higher level questions. If this was too easy, it's going to submit the form and you can have your students work on a higher level project or some kind of different activity for them. If it was difficult, they would hit next and it takes them to the lower ended questions. And as a teacher, if a student is missing the first couple questions, I know there's only three on this example, you could tell them, okay, let's go ahead and hit next and let's click. That was difficult and have them try these problems. So if I go all the way back to the first screen, let's say on here, the student was able to find my errors and they solved it on the second try. It's still going to take them to the higher ended questions because the students made of, might have made a little mistake in it, but they were able to find it. But if they, um, if we go back and the students needed more help, it's going to take them straight to the lower ended questions. And based on this, we'll take them. So if it was easy, it's going to take them straight to the word problems that were difficult. If it was difficult for these students, and maybe you could check in and say, once you get to these questions, check in with me and we're gonna kind of self-evaluate where we are. They would hit next and it asked them to submit the form. So they wouldn't have to even see the word problems. But if we would have gone to that was easy and it goes to next and then they finish these and they said that was easy, it will allow them to submit the form. So depending on where your students are at, you can have them do different problems and you can set the form up differently. But this was just one of the examples that I created. So now I'm going to show you the form. So now I'm in the form. I put a place for the name and then you're going to want to have different sections. So I took a screenshot of the question that I wanted, and this is based on the exit ticket from lesson 13 in module four. On question one, I wanted short answer. However, if you had a multiple choice question, you could also use that to determine where the students need to go in the form. And that honestly is probably easier. That's why I had to add the like self-assessment piece. But a lot of math teachers want the short answer. So here I have one ninth, and then I told them try to find your error. And then if you, the second step is to go to the teacher for my help. So this is where you could be having pulling for your small group stations. To get this, I went to the three dots and I clicked response validation. I really love response validation because it allows you in your Google form to give that immediate feedback to students. It turns red if it's incorrect and it will tell them these steps. If I was working with a small group and I didn't have time to work with students, on step two, you could put a link to a video or add some kind of other feedback for them to do. So then, I would do the same thing for question two. Again, three dots, response validation. Now for multiple choice, if you were gonna use a multiple choice answer, if you go to the three dots and click go to section based on answer, this is why we have a couple different sections. So in this case, I have two extra sections. If the correct answer was A, and you said, okay, that was a really hard question, the student really understands it, you can have them go straight and submit the form. But let's say B, they made a minor error. Maybe they forgot to just multiply straight across um, and they accidentally were changing the, or keeping the denominators the same, but they were able to find their error. You can have them go to section um, four, the high section, and have them start working on that section and trying to work on higher ended questions 
And then if they need more help, you could have them go to the lower section. I didn't have a clever name for this. So if you do have something, let me know and I can add it in. And then if you didn't want to and you wanted to keep the short answer, you need to have this in order to differentiate your Google form. So for this one, I just said solve both questions correctly. If they did, I want them to go to the high problems. If they found their error, I want them to go to the high problems. You could even add a median section in here if you wanted. For this example, I did not. Needed more help? they can go to the lower ended questions. So based on how they answer this, we'll take them to the new set of questions. On the lower ended questions, again, I did the short answer, response, validation, set it up exactly the same, just copied and pasted my um, error message. You have to have an error message or it will tell the students the correct answer. So make sure you have that error message. And then again, I had this short answer questions. Um, how did you do? If I didn't want the students to try the higher ended questions, you could have them submit the form. Um, submit form. If it was way too difficult, I want them to stop and not even try the higher ended questions. I want them to just submit it and then maybe they'll come to me for more practice. Again, on the high, you have the word problems. So students are, again, doing short answer, filling in. On this one, I had to say, first step, make sure you simplify your answer. Number two was try to find your error, and then three, go to the teacher. So again, you can add different responses in all of these, and the students will get that response. And then how did you do on here? If it was really easy, I want them to submit the form, and maybe they're going to work on some kind of project that I might have or some kind of activity that's going to provide them more higher level thinking. And then if this was difficult, they're going to go to section three and try the easier. Again, if you want to, and they're really struggling with question one, you can go ahead and just say, okay, let's click this box and go back, and then they could submit their form. Um, so I hope this is helpful. Again, you can add more sections. You just have to make sure you click the correct section in here. If you need help setting this up, um, let me know, and I will be happy to come in and help you. Have a great day.